I was in a church recently that had a huge banner across at the front of the of the worship area. It said, praise the Lord. And that is something that no matter what our religion, we should do daily. We should constantly remember praise. Well, we've just come from Thanksgiving. Many of you are using your gratitude to God daily system. Well, this is a key point to praise the Lord constantly for what God is doing in your life. All of us that are on the spiritual retreat cruise this week from New Orleans, going to Key West and Nassau and Coco Cay, we're praising God. I'll tell you, wish you could be with us. Join us next year. It says in the Bible, in Psalms 100, verses 4 and 5, Be thankful to God and bless God's name. For God is good, God's mercy is everlasting, and God's truth endures for all generations. So we should be thankful to God and bless His name. This is God's nature. It is the very nature of God. We should realize that God is always good. God is always loving. That is God's nature. That God always knows the wisdom and the strength and the power of life itself. That that gift is given to us continuously when we put on the same nature inside of us. For the Lord is good and God's mercy is everlasting. That means without end, it never ends. It never ends for you or for your loved ones. God's truth endures to all generations. Not just those that are currently with you, but your children's children, children will be blessed by God. It will never stop. In the Hebrew version of the Old Testament, the title of the book of Psalms, do you know how it's translated? It is translated hymns of praise. Hymns of praise. And for good reason. Much of the book is a breathtaking, beautiful celebration of God's power, God's love, and God's creation. The psalmist wrote, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalms 150, verse 6. We should continually praise God and do so for all that God has done and that God will do. You know, that is a key element of Jesus Christ's prayer is giving thanks in advance for things that haven't happened yet. God's work is absolute marvel. When you look at it, when you ponder the power of God's gifts in your life, they're exceedingly wonderful. And God's love that never ends, that never weakens, that endures forever. Do you sincerely desire to be a worshiper of the one who has given you eternal love and eternal life? Then meditate and pray on God's marvelous works. Ponder God's promises. Praise God, not just on Sunday morning or on one day a year Thanksgiving, but all day, every day, for as long as you live, and then for all eternity. God bless you, my friend.